since I put up a video on YouTube about how to use um, Easy Drummer uh, in multi-channel mode in Ableton, the question came up about how to do the same thing with Superior Drummer 2 and some people said they couldn't get it to work so uh, it's pretty much the same thing as with uh, Easy Drummer so and here's how to do it. I've got uh, Easy Drummer in a MIDI track in Ableton. I have a uh, groove going. So, uh, back in Superior Drummer, I go to the mixer and if you look at the outputs, all the outputs for every uh, instrument goes to the out 1-2. If you click on that, you get a uh, a whole bunch of uh, options here and one of them is multi-channel. If you select that it will change all the outputs uh, to a separate output channel and it will group them like the, there's the three bass drum microphones and all the three of them go to the 1-2 uh, output channel and uh, three snare drums go to 3 and 4. So this looks good already as a uh, all the instruments or all the outputs have been automatically assigned for me. The thing is though that uh, output channel 1 and 2 will not be available in uh, Ableton. So if I insert an audio track and select Superior Drummer as the audio from, then I need to select the channels. The thing is there's no channel 1 and 2. It starts at 3, 4, 4, 5. Let's go back to Superior Drummer to our mixer. Now we're going to shift all the output channels by one. So we're going to start with the bass drum. You can control click to select multiple ones. So shift this one, three snare drums, the hi-hat and so on. So while you weren't watching, I shifted all the output channels for all the microphones. So now they're all probably set up. If I play the track now, yeah, you can't hear anything, but at least you can see that they're all going to separate uh, output channels. And now it's just a matter of adding uh, more tracks in Ableton and setting them up so each track uh, receives one of the outputs from Superior Drummer. So I'm going to close Superior Drummer for now. I have the audio track that I added previously. It was already set to Superior Drummer in the audio from. Then I'm going to select uh, one of the uh, output channels from uh, Superior Drummer. Gonna add two more audio tracks. This is going to be the bass drum, this will be the snare drum, this is going to be the hi-hat just for quick testing. So I'll set this to Superior Drummer set this to 5.6 and this to 7.8 if I now play the track you'd still hear um, nothing but here's where the magic happens so while you're not looking I'm gonna quickly add some more uh, audio tracks and set up everything completely as you can see, I now have a few more tracks. I renamed them so I know wh uh, what exactly they're doing. So, and every track is bound to a output channel from Superior Drummer. Uh, last thing I'd like to do is group all the uh, tracks into uh, one big group, so you can easily hide them if needed. Also, note that as soon as I did that, all the audio two. Uh, options change from master into group. I'll just play it one more time. So uh, basically that was about it. Thanks for watching.